Today it is me, Kyle, Dimitri, and Jeremiah, and we are doing a special episode known as the Marvel Superhero Versus Bracket. Now you're saying to yourself, what is that? Well, it's Versus, and there's a bracket. So you're going to hear some of the same names at some point until we get to our semifinals and our finals, and we find out Panelist Podcast's favorite Marvel superheroes, which one is the strongest. Now it's not a competition, it's just a debate. So we'll see. But the it's first kind one. of a competition. <laughs> it's kind of a competition. So up first, round one, Daredevil versus Nightcrawler. Dimitri, tell us who oh. and tell us why. Probably Daredevil, because it's like, you know, I mean, I guess you could put him in a wall. Okay, scratch that. I think Nightcrawler, you could put him in a wall. So you're saying it. he'll just teleport him into somewhere into where a wall. he can't get out? <laughs> you know, the mob put like dead bodies into Javits is what mm -hmm. I've heard. He wouldn't have to put him in like cement. He would just put him in oh. any hard surface he just puts him into. I feel crawler. like it's a bit of a stretch with Nightcrawler's powers. Too. He can't Killing. do that. Yeah. He needs he to see where he's going. <laughs> so essentially, I would knock them both out. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Daredevil, because he's, you know, better combat wise than Nightcrawler, in my opinion. Okay. I'm going with your boy Daredevil definitely because not only is he in better combat style than Nightcrawler, Nightcrawler can fight, but Daredevil like knows really how to fight. He can also radar sense where he's going to teleport to because there's that moment before he gets there where Daredevil will know that he's coming. So the element of surprise is a little out the window on Nightcrawler. So I'm going with Daredevil for sure. I totally couldn't just let him into a wall. That's not his power. <laughs> no, he can't no. put him into a solid object. I agree with both of you i will also say daredevil because of the combat skills and i was even thinking there's a smell when nightcrawler transports it does it smells right. like sulfur right so when he teleports oh. you kind of could follow the odor and maybe punch him in the face before he gets there i don't know but yeah i think daredevil would take it i didn't purposely put the catholic boys against each other but it happened oh yeah so true. here we are daredevil yes yeah, submit yep thank you all right cool Round one, fight two, Star-Lord versus the better Spider-Man, Miles Morales. Oh, uh, you're going to regret saying that. I guess Star-Lord, isn't he stronger? Little Prince Boy ain't stronger than Miles. Guardians of the Galaxy 2, isn't he stronger? Someone no, we're doing comics. So Miles because Venom Blast. Yeah, without okay. a doubt. I mean, it take away Star-Lord's guns. If Star-Lord gets a drop on him, maybe, but even then, he's got a spider sense. Miles has Star-Lord by a mile. See what I did there? I was going to acknowledge it, <laughs> and then I decided line. not to, and then you did it yourself. I like it. And I sadly have to agree, just because I don't want to agree with everything you guys say, but I think Star-Lord would be a pain in the ass. But yeah, once Miles touched him, it'd be game over for sure. And with that, we continue in round one to the third fight. Wolverine, Logan, versus Iron Man. Tony Stark. Wolverine, right? I mean, it's, it's up for you to he's decide. Stronger. He's stronger physically and claws. Adamantium. Wolverine because of adamantium. Good decision making. Iron Man. Iron Man has something that Wolverine doesn't have. It's called range. And mm. he could make a fucking magnet and take out the little Canadian mm. and just incapacitate him. So, yeah, if he just makes a big arc reactor magnet wolverine's done iron man can walk away wolverine won't be able to so is your argument prep time is that what's happening here it's not so much prep time as it is ability all right so i was leaning wolverine you know because of dimitri's statement but now i'm thinking not just with the range factor but you're right there's no way iron man doesn't have a magnet somewhere up his ass that he's pulling out like Wolverine's strong, but a magnet's a magnet. Mm -hmm. We've seen Magneto mess him up. And this is not necessarily a fight to the death because, you know, they're going to be friends next issue and then make a new team together. And then, you know, that'll get rebooted two, two weeks later. But yeah, I mean, I didn't think it was going to go this way, but I have to agree with Iron Man. I think Iron Man would definitely get the win over Wolverine. Sorry to major. But still, never mind. Because he's short. <laughs> I'm going under the assumption with all these battles that these two know they're about to square off. You can smell the magnet coming. Like that. <laughs> Good input, Dimitri. I love it. There you go. Round one fight number four. Black Panther versus Cyclops. Cyclops. Range. You're taking range black panther so cyclops's eye beams is just concussive force there's nothing else behind it there's no heat behind it people who think there's heat behind it are wrong it's just a concussive blast and vibranium can absorb concussive blasts. It's the reason mm -hmm. why Black Panther's biggest villain is Claw. Not only can Black Panther 
get past Cyclops' ability, but he's also trained better in hand-to-hand -hand combat when it would get to that. Yes, Cyclops has got range to an extent, but Black Panther has a way to combat that with his suit, and then his ability in hand-to-hand -hand is superior to Cyclops. So I think Black Panther hand-to-hand -hand easily takes Cyclops. I think that, yes, Cyclops has the range, but I don't even think he could hit him. Unless he does some kind of weird optic thing that's more recent in comics where he just blows up in every which direction. Even then, I think Black Panther's getting up. But if we think about this in a meme format, Black Panther is representing a cat and Cyclops is representing a laser pointer. <laughs> but I do think Black Panther would win. Again, sorry, Dimitri, you're making good points, but you're wrong. I thought that Professor Xavier trains okay, the X-Men to fight without their powers, like to not lean on the powers, like hand to hand. I don't know. I'm just saying. I don't think Professor Xavier is doing hand to hand with anyone. <laughs> you know, he trains them to. He trains them to. All right. Fight number five of round one. Wolverine, X-23, versus Vision. This is just an odd power set against each other. You have one that could basically become, what's the word? Translucent? Not yeah. even translucent. And, yeah, translucent. translucent. Untangible. Yes, there you go. Untangible. And you have another one who is just basically brute force. She could swing at him for hours, but also what is he going to do to her? I mean, what? He could shoot a little laser beam here and there and mess with her. She's going to heal. This could be just an endless, nonsense, boring fight. So do the best you can to come up with something here. <laughs> but X-23 versus Vision. Dimitri, who are you taking? Vision, because I think he could put her on a wall. You really want to put people on walls, but I he think you're right. Yeah, I think you're right, though. Yeah, he could. He could. Oh, man. I mean, she okay. can't get out the wall. I mean, she'd fight her fucking way out the wall. If she touched him, though, like if she got to him, he would just be torn to shreds and then be over. To an extent. So yeah, so you'd have to be quick with that power. I'm going with Vision as well. My reason is slightly different. Obviously, she's going to heal, but you can incapacitate them. And with his solar gem that he has, mm -hmm. he can superheat her adamantium. That's not going to be comfortable. You're going deep now. <laughs> and she could pass out from that and... Then she's incapacitated. Yeah, he could put her in a wall. That's a great ability. He has the ability to become untangible, so she can't exactly hit him. And he can only make certain parts of his body untangible. So, like, if she got close, he could still keep a part of himself solid and either do hand-to-hand oh. -hand if he needs to. My vote is Vision, for sure. I think you're both right. Vision it is. Now, next, another odd pair-up. X-Men's Magic versus Spider-Man Peter Parker. Oh, don't really know how this would go. Pure creativity. <laughs> Poorly. <laughs> Avengers versus X-Men. It is a rematch. I would have to say magic, though. Oh. She can go into other dimensions, I believe. I think she's learned from Doctor Strange about, like, you know, magic and sorcery. Peter Parker just can't do any of that. And her sword. You can't do anything against that either. So, magic. Peter has range. We're going to keep going back to this, <laughs> <Right>. unfortunately. <laughs> Peter has range that magic doesn't. Yes, magic can open up portals to other dimensions. And Peter really doesn't have a direct way to combat that. But he also has the ability to, if you put him in a hole and you give him an opportunity to get out of it, he can get out of it quickly. Basically, if she opens up a portal to another dimension, throws him in it. If he webs her right before he goes in, he can pull himself out quickly. Also, he's stronger than magic. Hand-to-hand -hand combat, he could finish her and i believe in avx peter does beat her yes she had the phoenix force right colossus and her fought yeah so yeah it was more so of to be fair a win's a win <laughs> a win's a win very good win's a win it, you are right though she did have phoenix force when she didn't beat peter parker i am thinking peter parker generally though because he's not unfamiliar to her powers or like magical powers at all and like dimensions and whatever kind of thing she's conjuring so i think he would have a difficult time it wouldn't be like a one two it would be a let's deal with all of her bullshit she's throwing at me and then once he gets close enough he'd take her out so i think spider-man would take out magic fair enough fight number seven of round one gambit versus venom i know we said superheroes we will say current venom but not the current run let's say the last run before he became king in black because the current run i don't even know what's going on he can like reform himself into other symbiotes across the universe so let's just say pre king in black venom basic venom powers Maybe he could pop out wings or something if he wanted, but basic Venom, lethal protector kind of powers, but still a hero versus Gambit. Um, Just regular old Gambit with his cards. Yeah, but it's would say Venom. He's stronger. 
Gambit. Venom's biggest weakness is sound. Gambit can use that to his ability, throw a card at something, make a sound. Not to mention, I believe, I could be wrong in this, but I believe he can charge the symbiote. The symbiote's alive, though. I mean, I guess it is organic, so maybe he can't charge a symbiote. But if Venom gets close to him and starts drooling on him, he can charge that drool. That's a little far-fetched. Is it? No. <laughs> so the cards blow up. Yeah. They're going to be loud. Anything he charges blows up. It's going to be loud. It's going to be explosive. Possibly cause some fire. Two mm -hmm. things Venom doesn't like. Besides that, once that parlor trick of I'm throwing things that are blowing up at you, what's left after that? Because if Venom dodges any of that with similar abilities to Spider-Man. I mean, Venom definitely has the advantage for sure. It could be a fair fight. Yeah, I think it would be a fair fight. I think just once Venom learned how to get around Gambit's mutant power, it would be like, oh, okay, I just got to get around this, web you, throw something back at you. Like, but Venom can eat him. He could eat him. He yeah, could. he could. I got to say Venom. I okay. think we'd be very close, but I got to say Venom. That's fair. That's fair. The last battle of round one, fight number six, the X-Men Storm versus Deadpool. Notice I didn't say X-Men's Deadpool because I don't really like him ever with the X-Men. I like him on his own personal preference. I love his X-Men costume, though. That's my favorite Deadpool costume. The X-Force one is my favorite, I think. You have to be Deadpool, right? Because he can't really die. So I'm thinking of this whole thing as a Dragon Ball Z style fight, right? When someone's knocked out or incapacitated or just not standing up quick enough, the winner's the one standing. So Deadpool's healing factor would just keep him in the fight longer and give him, you know, much more grounds to keep going. But you're talking extreme meta level power versus unstoppable aggression, in a sense. I'm sticking with Deadpool. Okay. I'm going with Storm. Storm, she has a way to combat his weapons for the most part. If he starts shooting her, she can create a tornado and those bullets basically become nothing. Close combat, wind gusts, and then she can just fucking shock him with lightning. She is an Omega level mutant. They both have range in the terms of like their weapon choice and their ability mm -hmm. sort of. If we're going back to the DBZ, that it just incapacitation i think storm's got the advantage on deadpool if deadpool can get to her she's done mm -hmm. but it's if he can get to her right she could just drop a tornado and he'll just never be able to cross the tornado she could freeze the bullets with freezing rain that i think storm's got quite the ability on him i kind of feel like it could be an indiana jones moment where they're head to head <laughs> and she does all this intense storm and tornado and there's just like lightning everywhere and it's just this spectacle and he just pulls out a gun and pops her in the leg like, I could see it going that way, but, you know, I would say a veteran X-Men at this point. She's had a lot of different combat experience as well, even though he's better. I think it would be possibly close because he would deal with a lot of the weather, but inevitably the weather would catch up to him or she would electrocute the shit out of him and he just would be knocked out and that'd be it. So I say Storm for this round. Fair enough. Definitely close, though. I would say this possibly is the closest because that healing factor just keep dealing with stuff. That's not nothing. With that, we have completed round one. We are now into round two. There will be four fights. The first one, as decided earlier, is Daredevil versus Spider-Man Miles Morales. Oh, I'm going Miles. He's probably not as good combat-wise, but Venom Blast, and I think he can still blow himself up. I think he actually he made a sword recently in Cody Ziegler's run out of electricity. So another point for you there. Jeremiah by his face is clearly disagreeing. Daredevil. Daredevil. <laughs> Daredevil by a mile. And the reason why Daredevil is because experience. Miles is younger. He hasn't dealt with as much as Daredevil's first villain was Electro. Mm. So the electricity bit, fuck off. He's got the ability in hand-to-hand -hand combat to beat Miles. The web shooters are going to be annoying, sure, but he's got his billy clubs. He can get through it. Without a doubt, I think Daredevil's got it just based on experience. Here's where I'm going with this now. I think it would be a way closer fight than you're saying. I think Miles has obviously nowhere near Daredevil's experience, but has a little more experience than you might be giving him credit for. And his powers... Although he would have to get to Daredevil, the spidey sense, it's going to come down to fatigue. And I think that last bit of push, the powers aren't even a thing anymore. It's just a fist fight. I think Daredevil will outlast him when it comes to that. Personally, it would be a long, drawn out fight and Daredevil would have a few more minutes left in him off of experience. But he's stronger. Yeah, I just think Daredevil could take more hits than they make it he's out to be. Son of a boxer. Yeah, although Miles does have... 
just superhuman strength. But I think if this was Peter versus Daredevil. Oh, Peter by a mile. I think, yeah, Peter would win. I think Miles in years from now, you know, even though comics won't ever age him, if they ever aged him up to Peter Parker's current age, then it would always be Miles. Okay. But at his current state where they're still growing him and he's like still in high school i gotta say daredevil daredevil's mm-hmm. dealt with much now worse i want an powers. old man miles series they did a brief one but it was kind of like an apocalyptic world yeah it, it didn't was, really it was, it didn't hold up so for this round it is daredevil as reluctant and unwillingly i wanted to push this button didn't think you were gonna agree with me on that one but round two fight number two Iron Man versus Black Panther. We got Tech Suit versus Tech Suit versus Genius versus one of them secretly has powers from a spirit. I don't know how you explain it. Anyway, Iron Man versus Black Panther. Dimitri, who do you got? I guess Black Panther, right? Anything you throw at him, he's absorbing it and then throwing it back out. Kinetically, I mean. You know, Iron Man has range, I guess, on his side to some degree, but Iron Man, I don't believe, is stronger yeah, I would go Black Panther. I'm going to agree with Dimitri on this one. Black Panther, Tony would most likely build a suit just to try to combat T'Challa in Black mm-hmm. Panther costume. So he'd have an advantage there. Never has that worked out for Tony. Hulkbuster didn't work out for Tony. Thorbuster didn't work out for Tony. So Panther Buster would not work out for Tony in the long run. I think it'd be a tough fight. I would be I think it'd be a tight fight, but I think T'Challa comes out on top. I agree with both of you, except I don't think it would be that tight of a fight. I think Iron Man (laughs) would go down quicker because you're talking about a possibly better suit than the Iron Man suit with someone who knows how to fight with actual abilities Mm -hmm. inside in the same brain capacity. But rain. But I think Black Panther, again, just like with Cyclops and we were saying before, I think he could dodge quite a bit and even how cool a panther buster suit would be which someone steal that idea because i want to know what that looks like yeah i think there's no chance for iron man fight number three round two vision versus spider-man peter parker vision Mm. just because there's not a lot peter can do against him i'm going to use the same putting him in a wall argument i just put him in a wall i want to preface this with kyle came up with this idea we all had to submit our favorite characters and i believe i'm the only one whose favorite characters have had to fight each other in the first round oh. nightcrawler versus daredevil yeah. those are my two picks and then now peter versus vision those are my two picks so fuck you for one <laughs> For two, unfortunately, it's Vision. I think really? Peter would have fun with it, but yeah, no, Vision's wow. got too many abilities that Peter kind of can't combat. Vision can get past Super Senses. He can get past the Spider Sense. I think Vision has it over Peter, unfortunately. I know you're going to revel in the fact that Peter would lose to Vision. This is not how I thought it was going to go. I know Vision is overpowered, and we can make that argument. He's got way too many abilities. He's a supercomputer, blah, blah, blah. I just don't see how he would catch Peter. Like, I don't see how he would get him. Peter would just continuously dodge until Vision made a mistake. But you both said Vision. (laughs) The odds are against me, so it's almost pointless to make my argument. I'm not saying Vision wouldn't win. I'm just saying I think it would be so close that I would lean Peter only slightly, but I still would lean Peter slightly. Now, the next one, which is fight number four, round number two, I think is a given if we want to just say it quickly, and then we could just all kind of say electricity together. <laughs> Venom versus Storm. 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 It's Storm. Yeah, it's, yeah storm. it's definitely Storm. <laughs> Venom would have no chance. Now, if we talk post King and Black, maybe there's a few things up his sleeve. If you want to bring in the King of Black argument, I will bring in the argument that Storm has wielded Mjolnir. Okay, we're just going to click the button and move on. <laughs> Keep this going. All right. We are on to the semi-final. The first of two fights in the semi-finals. Daredevil versus Black Panther. Black Panther. He's just stronger. Claws. The maneuverability. Severely. Acrobatic. Black Panther, because he's stronger. He's also smarter than Matt, so he would find a way to outsmart him, unfortunately. Yeah, I think it would be a great hand-to-hand. Yeah, it'd be fun to watch. <laughs> but you're also having someone that's basically human. Daredevil's abilities don't make him stronger hitting someone in a suit made of a very special metal. So how far is it going to go, in a sense? And like you said, outsmarting is not going to happen there either. So yes, unanimous Black Panther would, in fact, defeat Daredevil. Okay, let's see who Black Panther will be fighting in the finals. We have Vision versus Storm. This is going to be super complicated, and it's because of Vision. Yeah. I'm just going to throw out, before you guys even say anything, if Vision is in his untangible form, can any kind of static 
still affect him. She could freeze him out. Okay. Because his tangible form requires heat. Mm -hmm. He generates heat to become untangible. She could freeze him out. He couldn't necessarily get to her. Even if he's this floating through walls kind of being, there's still thunder and lightning and mm -hmm. rain and hail. And like, there's so much going on. I don't see him getting to her letting his hand be, you know, something to hit her and not being completely affected by everything going on. I don't even know what you would call it, like an extreme weather condition that, yeah, nothing could quite make it. So this is not the way I thought this was going to go. This is not what I Isn't intended because now we have a little bit of a situation. Final round. Final round. Indeed, we have Black Panther versus Storm. Once married, once, you know, happily ever after. And now in the ring head to head i want to say it's close it's closer than it should be yeah it's definitely closer than it should be but i know who's taking this storm because she's more powerful storm yeah, is an I, omega I really... level mutant yeah um, i don't see how many lightning bolts could be dodged by the time the vibranium becomes a microwave a legitimate microwave it would have to be no holding back kind of fight and i think t'challa just loves her too much he wouldn't be able to not hold back storm is our winner is there anyone on this list that although they lost an earlier round that if they had a different pairing could possibly hold up against her and possibly beat her iron man iron man i feel iron man could Again, he'd make a suit to combat her. He'd make a suit that the weather mm. doesn't affect much. And then Unibeam. It would literally have to be a suit that could deal with heat, cold, and electricity. And being submerged in a flash flood. It would have to be able to deal with all of those. And once she's done with her bag of tricks, he could still be around. That's interesting. I think it would be very close. I just think she's just so overpowered that you're dealing with just... Yes way too much but that's a good one i mean the only one i would say is maybe wolverine for the fact that they've also been in a relationship no but just because his healing factor although very similar to deadpool's the berserker mode of wolverine yes he has that advantage over deadpool his skin would be melting off and frostbite all in the same sentence he would just still be pushing forward i think deadpool the pain would eventually incapacitate him I don't mm. know if anyone else could push through besides Wolverine. Wolverine would have to get to her yeah, before he was a frozen block of ice. But I think that's the one that would have a solid chance. This was fun. I definitely manipulated it some to make some of them fair. Definitely could have done random, but I didn't want someone just to sweep without argument. Your boy made it to the semifinals. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Daredevil made it far. Peter Parker did not make it as far as I thought. I thought he was making the finals. I thought Wolverine was making the finals. I really saw it was going to be Wolverine versus Deadpool or Spider-Man versus Wolverine or Black Panther. That was my four. We got Black Panther, but Storm just stole the show, which makes sense. Mm -hmm. I'm happy that I included her to uh, just I literally mean, fry everyone. If you gave me the first round on its own without the matchups, like who do I think is making it? Vision had a good chance. I think Venom yeah. had a good chance. Chance. If he had different matchups, I think Venom could have gotten a lot further. Yep. Yeah, he got um, screwed. Even X-23 could have gotten a little bit further, probably. Vision was a bad luck one, and Storm was a bad luck one for whomever <laughs> got them. It's very particular. I think Miles versus Star-Lord was uh, too nice. That If he got <laughs> anyone else, he would have had a little more trouble. So, of the four of us, because we all chose four characters, Storm won. So who won of the four of us? Oh, I did, of course. That's great. <laughs> I was wondering, I'm like, who picked Storm? I was like, damn. Yeah. Well, there was a few overlaps with some of us, so my list stretched a little farther. Who you picked Magic? Who... I picked Magic. Really? I did not yeah. expect that. Yeah, I have a weird thing with her since Uncanny X-Men. I think that's Bendis' run. If I had put Jean Grey, because that's who I would have put instead of Magic, I think she would have made it to the end. Phoenix or non-Phoenix? Non-Phoenix would have got fucking wrecked. By who? Spidey, Vision, Black Panther. No, X-Men Red and Grey <laughs> would just take over the world, okay? Mind control, generally, I think needs to stay out of our brackets, because then it's just like... Ah, oh, damn it. You messed me up, because like, we need to do villains next time. My favorite villain kind of uses mind control, you asshole. <laughs> oh, yeah. It just would be tough with that. But Purple Man 
Doesn't he have to touch them? Nope, just his pheromones. So he just needs to be oh, near them. Oh, it is pheromones, them. you're right. Yeah, we might have to ban mind control from the bracket <laughs> tournaments here. But yeah, I think we'll do a villains one. We'll do a DC hero and villain one. And then like inevitably this. we'll do a mixture. And I think inevitably we'll take all of the winners. If we do this enough, do it that way. And that's when I'll really let this be super random because that'll be way complicated. That'd be fun though. Yeah, but yeah, our bracket. Congratulations to Storm. We should call this something. If we keep doing this, we should call it like a the battle series or what? Battle breakdowns. I don't love it. We'll keep trying. We'll come up with something. <laughs> we'll workshop names. <laughs> Panelist podcast. There's a wonderful Deadpool bullseye fight. I don't know if you guys have read this before, but it was mm -hmm. during the Dark Avengers run when Bullseye was dressing up as Hawkeye. And Bullseye's trying to kill Deadpool. And Deadpool's driving away in this Jeep and Bullseye gets out a bazooka, a heat-seeking <laughs> bazooka. And he shoots it at him. And you've got the wonderful scene of the Jeep driving away and the missile trailing. And then Deadpool hits the brakes and turns and it goes through the car, <laughs> through the back windows of the Jeep. And then it just cuts to Bullseye. He's like, I'm not even mad. That was fucking cool. 